It was just you and I, my love, glowing under the cloudy night and soft moonlight. I lit another bowl and watched as it burned and flourished like a rose. Then I exhaled the smoke into your kiss. Time slowed to a dream. Your smile resonated in me like a song. Your soul dreamt on my bed like a still, a still pond. I brought us some cold grapes from the refrigerator that burst in our mouths with the joy of kissing and sex. I turned off the light and we lay silly with grapes eating love in the dark. This is this all from a chapbook that, uh, that I put out. It's five bucks. Um, hope you guys like it. I'm going to read two more from here. It's called Goodbye, Megan Karen. It's about the, the best and worst relationship I've ever had. Be best because it got me to write again and worse because it took a lot for me. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really neat. Um, the poems may even not be that cool, but the book itself is. You know, <laughs> hopefully, you guys check it out. I had a lot of people help me with it. Stephanie, Dylan looked at some of them. Um, this one's called My Son. Let me find it really quick. <clears throat> she told me that she wanted to have my son. A baby, she'd say. I want him to be a spinning image of you. She told me how she thought I'd be a great father. We talk about the color of his skin, dark like his father, or fair skin's tribute to the bronze, or the color of something special, something twilight, something like café con leche. She'd say that he was going to have my dark eyes, my lips, and my nose, but he'd have my ass, she said, because you don't have one. We think about her name. Max was cute. Junior was out of the question. Cedric sounded hand of handsome, but Harper if it was a girl. She'd say with a grin that penis size was hereditary. She wanted me to teach him Spanish. She wanted me to show him how. So she used to tell me. So she promised. So she said a lot of things. Thank you, baby. See, should we read a happy one or a really dark one? You guys feel like dark? 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 Okay. <laughs> Turn the lights off. Okay. Friday the 13th. This isn't the darkest, there's darker ones in here, uh, <laughs> Dylan knows, I mean, there's a lot of good and bad energy in this. Um, this is called uh, separation anxiety. It's a bad idea to leave me alone like this, because all my demons come out to play. And I, I am the worst of all. There is no hope in this dark room where all light surrenders. It's a bad idea to leave me alone like this, because I try to regret. I'd rather die than wait for you. Lie to me in this bad scene, this ugly fucking picture becomes your fault. I don't want you, only what you do to me. Tell me that I'm ugly and I'll stay. Tell me that you love me and I'll buy all your bullshit. Don't try to save me, you put me here. Don't talk to me, I am your slave. Mock me and I'll praise you. It's a bad idea to leave me alone like this because I begin to understand that forgiveness is my worst attribute. I begin to understand that believing you is lying to myself. Oh, that felt good.